So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and first thing is that here we have to use the looker also and basically the look ml also so just open the looker in incognito window here the first thing is that you have to just enter the username and password so just enter the username and password you have to enter the looker username and password you can see here just as i am doing just follow along with me and just log in okay you have to just log in and now right click over here from task number one and just here basically you have to sign in using your cloud console username and password that is mentioned on the top so click on use it for free now just come over here and here you can see the username and password just copy it carefully copy it carefully and paste over here and hit enter now again paste the password also hit enter now just click on i understand so basically here you have to just click on i understand it will take some time so wait for it so finally we are ready now if you are unable to basically click on it just zoom out and then from here just click on the create blank report now for the country you can select any country let me select my country now for the company name also you can use any name so if you are new to this channel first of all i want to say like the video and subscribe the channel and just here click on yes to all and if you are unable to find this continue button just zoom out and try again now here just click on the blank record just click on create blank report now from here you have to just click on the big query now just click on authorize just select the student id and now from here basically you can see that they have mentioned we have to click on public data set okay if you try to click directly you won't be getting it so just from here you can see we have public data set at the last option so you have to just click on it so let me show you how you have to do you can see this is the thing we have to do just click on the public data set from here just select your project id and for data set come here and just copy carefully the look underscore commerce you just copy it make sure anything is not leaving behind and there is no extra space also so just paste over here like this make sure to remove this if there any full stop is coming now just select this orders data set sorry tables you just write it just click on it and add now here one more important thing is that we have to rename the file also so here a pop-up will come add to report you have to just click on add to report like this and a new page will be open so basically this name you have to just copy copy the name carefully and then come over here and just here just paste it and just click on anywhere on the document now just check the score for this particular task here you can see we got the score without any issue now many of you are saying that we are facing issues on the looker part do not worry first of all is that you have to enable this development mode otherwise the looker will be in read only mode and you won't be able to modify any files now once it is done you have to just come wait for few seconds and from here once the development mode is enabled you have to just click on this develop option from here navigate directly to the quick labs e-commerce like this it will take some time so wait for it now here basically we have to create a view and basically modify the one model file okay so here you can see the name is mentioned over here just copy the name carefully make sure there is no any extra space or dot just come over here click on this view option just click on this three dots click on create view and just paste the name over here like this okay once it's done click on create now once the file is created you have to replace entire content so just click on this view option and just select all and just press the backspace now in the description box i've shared this repository you have to come over here and just paste the entire content like this all these are presents already in the lab instruction so now just click on the model and open this model file and then again you have to just copy this model file completely and just paste on your file of the looker 
so just now save it and once you have saved it you have to just validate the look ml and then you have to just commit for commit message you can type anything and in case you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe it and like the video now once you have done this click on create sorry commit and then deploy to production now once all these things are done you have to open the looker in new tab so you can see the place where looker is written just right click over here and open it in new tab now please follow as i am doing now just check the score for task number two if you have followed the way i have done you will get the score without any issue and if the score is not updating wait for at least one to two minutes and try again now this task is a little bit tricky so please pay attention to each and every step now from here basically you have to just click on the explore option okay come over here and just you can see explore option is here just click on it and now from here we have to just open the events so how will open the events you can see all these things are here order items ffa and flights you have to click on only in the event section now here we have to add some values and update the role limits and change something we will explore in this part of this video so from here you can see there is a search field below sorry the search field box so here basically you have to just type let me type in so here it is event types so just click on it like this it is has been added now another thing is that user wait a second it will be count count sorry count and it will be in users region this one okay do not click on any others okay just click like this and now once it's done we have to make it in descending order so let me zoom in and show you you have to just click on this arrow and you can see here descending sort order so you have to just make it descending down arrow will be shown now update the row limit to three and once all these things are done just run it it will take some time and here you can see these are the file names so how you'll save it wait for it to get completed click on visualization and from here just click on this bar chart once all these things are done just come over here and here you can see the file name is here that is top three event types based on the highest number of users so make sure you copy it carefully otherwise if you make some mistake you won't be able to get the score now just save save as an existing dashboard now paste the name over here and then come over here and copy the dashboard name carefully this is the dashboard name user events is the dashboard just click on it save it and just save to the dashboard now once you are done with this basically you can see all these things are done just come over here and check the score for this task and if you follow the way i have done you'll get full score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab now another thing is that if you want other lab free courses regarding the arcade facilitator program and any program you can check it and if you are unable to get the score just go to that particular chart and basically that task or just refresh the browser window that's how we completed the lab. Bye guys.